So today I wanna to show you how to use Apple Pay on your iPhone. Now we're gonna be going through step by step on how this actually functions, how to use it, and how to even add cards to your account. Now, one thing we wanna do before we continue on, since this is kind of a quick, easy video for you, make sure you hit that like button down below, it really helps out the channel. And if you want to help support out the channel financially, you can hit that thanks button down below. Now we're here kind of just on my main page of my iPhone, and there's an option for us that says wallet. Now, of course, if you don't have the app on your page, Page, you can just search for it by swiping down on your phone, but we're going to go ahead and click on wallet and we're going to talk a little bit about how this actually works. So you can see, I actually have quite a few cards on here. So I have like my capital one Quicksilver. I have my prime. I have my PNC bank. I have my SoFi card on here. So I have lots of different credit cards and debit cards on my wallet for Apple pay. Now, the really cool thing about this is that pretty much most bank cards are going to be able to be added on here. And one way to do that quickly is to hit that little plus icon on the top right hand side, right over here it's going to take you to a page once it loads up and you can see towards that like bottom section you can add a debit or a credit card cool thing is some places add uh, allow you to add a transit card and also even a driver's license or state id which in the state of arizona i can actually do with mine you can see at the very top there the Arizona ID. Now, obviously it's very limited on how you can actually use it. Now, as far as how this all functions, once you add your card on here, you can see like with my Quicksilver, if I click on here, you're gonna see some transactions for us for the last couple of things that we ran the card for. So if I actually go to a shop that allows me to use Apple Pay, the really nice thing is it gives me that extra level of security. I still get my points with using like Capital One Quicksilver if I earn reward points with this one. So there are many places that do accept Apple Pay, such as like Target, Starbucks even accepts some, and even Ross as a clothing store accepts Apple Pay, including so many other places. And what's really nice is if you have a credit card that earns reward points, you are still getting those points. It's effectively like you using your physical card, but instead you are getting to actually use your digital wallet. Now, what's really cool about this as well too, is you can see I have a ton of different cards available for me. I have one that is my primary card, which is the one that's in the front, but I can switch and toggle between the different ones depending on what I need to use. So if it's a business account that I have to use it from, I can switch over to that. Or if it's a personal account or or if it's a credit card, I can easily swap in between each one and use them as I see fit. Now, if I am somewhere where I'm able to use Apple Pay, you'll usually see like a little icon for it. Like I mentioned, places like Target or even PetSmart also utilize this. So what you can actually do is just tap twice on the side button over here. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring up my face ID and it's going to tell me to hold near a reader. So that way they can actually read the card. Obviously, sometimes you might have to like swipe around until it gets it clicked, but it'll go ahead and continue on and go ahead and let you either sign if you need it to or enter a pin if it's a debit card as well. Now, another really cool feature for Apple Pay is if you are on your main screen or even if you have your phone locked, if you actually double tap on that power button on the right hand side, it actually will take you right to your wallet and to your main card on file. So that way you can go ahead and pay right away without having to scrummage through a bunch of apps. Now, one of the other things we want to look at when it comes to the wallet is that you can actually rearrange these cards as you see fit. Now, the card that's actually at the very front or like at the bottom of the screen is actually your default card. So that's going to be the one that comes up first when you hit that uh, side button twice but everything else you can kind of toggle between if you needed to. But the really nice thing is if you actually kind of hold on lightly, you can actually slide these into different positions as you see fit. So if you want certain cards next to each other, you can go ahead and actually do that. So another thing you can do is actually even remove cards from your account. Now, in order to do that, what we want to do is click on one of the cards that we want to utilize. And then from here, what we're gonna to wanna to do is click on the circle icon at the top right with the three little dots in there. And then from here, it's gonna take you to a page that looks similar to this. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is actually scroll to the very bottom. And here at the very bottom, you're gonna see an option that says remove this card. So you can click on there and actually have the card fully removed, whether it's expired or you don't want it anymore or need it on your account. Now, in case you didn't know, Apple Pay is entirely free to use. So if you have debit cards or credit cards, you can go ahead and start adding them on there. It makes your life a lot easier when it comes to utilizing your phone instead of having to pull out a wallet or a purse to be able to get your card. Now, if you want to learn in more detail on how to actually add a debit or credit card, I want you to actually check out my next video right over here to learn that process. My name is Dennis, and I want to help you in that next video.